will brief the 319 Park. It's a rush. Yes, sir, the messenger is on his way. Please try to be calm, sir. Stress is the hidden killer. <laughs> All right, who's been sleeping on my desk again? There's drool on my blotter. And the bank statements are missing. I cannot do the payroll without the damn bank statements. We don't feel so confident knowing you're in charge, Johnny. Give me those. <laughs> You're three hours late, Leo. Uh, a little understanding, all right? I'm a member of Generation X. I mean, if Drew Barrymore was your leader, would you be in a hurry to get on with your life? You know, when I was your age, Leo, I was demonstrating in the streets to try to make the world a better place. Oh, well, that was you. Hey, why don't you spam me the 60s speech? I mean, the only reason you people look back fondly on those years is because you were wrecked the entire time, you know? I saw the old Woodstock on cable, Johnny. Everybody naked. None of them very attractive. <laughs> You know my problem is, Barkley? I didn't do enough drugs during the 60s. I could have been a rock star and dead now. Why does that sound good to me? Ooh, look at you, oh, boss. Oh, oh. You look good enough to season greens, Wick. You've been working out of some cuss shoe. Look great. Even through that shirt, I can tell them biceps is tall. Marlon, I'm not loaning you any more money. Oh, man, it ain't for me. It's for my kid. Look, all I know about kids is that they're short and they can't hold their liquor. But my kid is sick and he got the chicken pox. If I don't bring him some toys, he's gonna be up all night crying. I ain't gonna get no sleep. I'm gonna come to work and get into an accident. Then I'll be asking for 500 bucks for the emergency room. You getting off cheap. All right, all right, Marvin. But this is the last time. Whoa. The last time. I don't know what happened. I was supposed to be releasing the Johnny Verona's greatest hits album by now. Trash in hotel rooms. Being mobbed by screaming fans. Fending off beautiful women. This is different than that. Hey, thanks, boss. I'm hitting the streets right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, man, what are you doing? I've been waiting an hour for those runs. I am a black man trying to support a family. You know, Bob Doe will call me a national treasure. <laughs> Yeah, that's right, Marlon, like we've seen this family of yours. How do we know you even have one, huh? Why do you start that? Y'all owe me 40 acres and a mule anyway. I don't know you Y'all know y'all. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, what's going on out here? I'm trying to do math. <laughs> this guy is always getting special okay. treatment, huh? Like he's the only one with the family. You know, I got a family too. You know why I was late today? Hmm. He's getting a birthday card for the old man. What do you mean, Leo? You and your father haven't talked in years. Look, all of a sudden, I'm a fascinating person. Just give me the runs. No way, man. I need the cash. I'm still paying off a turkey loaf we had last week. Oh, for man. Those runs are mine. Actually, those runs are mine until I assign them. Jay Bone, come and fulfill your destiny. It's almost biblical, isn't it? <laughs> Please hold. I need this portfolio to get uptown right away. It's urgent. It has to be at this address in 15 minutes. My whole career depends on it. Your whole career depends on one delivery? Now, how exactly did you let things get to this point? I haven't been able to resolve that in two years with my therapist, so I doubt it will have an answer today. Where's it going? 2301 Madison. Concord Camp. Elliot Cranston, VP of Personnel. A rush gets there in 45 minutes, a double rush in less than 20. Perhaps you'd like to peruse our rate schedule. Double rush, triple rush, I don't care. I'll give you a million dollars. I'll sleep with you. I have to get this job. <laughs> and why are we still talking? I wasn't. <laughs> Brubeck, double rush uptown. Um, is he the fastest? His calves look small. Go, Brubeck! Go, Brubeck, and guard that with your life. I worked a week on that proposal. Thank you for holding. How may I help you? Unbelievable. I'm desperate for a job in a can company. <laughs> Two years at Harvard Business School, you know, when it comes down to this. Well, what happened to the career I was promised? $20,000 a year in tuition, and I'm one step away from serving people meals through the mouth of a clown. You should breathe occasionally. <laughs> oh! Hey, you know what your problem is? You have expectations. You should just give it up and go straight to bitter. You'll save a lot of time. And everybody looks good in black, huh? Concord Can. This is Zoe Fuller. 
My portfolio's on its way, and, well, I'm calling to give you my new office number. Yes, it's, um, 49397. Oh, wait till midnight. That's where my love Oh, 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 honey. Nothing extra goes into your paycheck for trying to kill me. What? Why don't you wear a blindfold, too, and really give yourself a thrill, huh? You mean just go on instinct? I like it. Hunter. I brought Mr. Verona's in the zone today. Hunter. Poking down Madison, made two drops, no elevators. Made all the lights slip between two caps. They crunched, I flew. Took a ramp over a flatbed on seven. Missed it by this much, just laughing at that. Hunter. It's so cool. Hunter, that's all very good. Now, did you get the money from the photography studio that they owe us? Nah, they said business was slow. I felt so bad, I had a portrait taken. You know, I got enough wallet size for everybody. I got you a five by seven. Hunter, you're a happy boy, aren't you? <laughs> yes, sir, Mr. Verona. Don't call me Mr. Verona. Is a kid back here? Maybe he could take it. Yeah, he's in the back. Hey, kid! Kid! I was just on the phone with Esther. She keeps on hocking me to make a commitment. How can I commit before I know what I want to do with my life? Look, I got to run for you downtown now. This is the address. Suppose I want to backpack through Europe. Will she wait for me? I don't know. Look, it's a photography studio now. I want you to try to get the money that they owe us. You want me to lean on them? Any uh, rough stuff? I think just the fire in your eyes will do it. I'll be back in a flash. All right, you're gonna start that stuff again. There we go. All right, all right, all right. All right. All right, I tell you, one of these days I'm gonna knock you all on your ass. I understand. I just thought there might be some position we could discuss before I made my final decision. Uh-huh. I understand Concord Can's coming in with a sizable offer. Uh, are you, are you comfortable? Sit, sit, sit. I see. Well, I hope we'll have the opportunity to do something together in the future. Maybe I could run you over with a bus. That would work for me, you down such a Republican bastard! <laughs> Hi. How are you doing? These are uh, the accounts. The, the, the books are balanced. I can't help myself. I see a mess, I have to clean it up. Well, I'll get out of your way. Thanks for the unauthorized use of your phone. Um, 